Well, the manhunt is on for four prison escapees. State prisons officials aren't saying much about the four men who police say walked away from the Wahiwa Correctional Facility early Sunday morning. Correctional officers discovered the men missing at 1.10 a.m., but public information about the escapees was not released until nearly 12 hours later. KITV4's Jody Leong talked to public safety officials about why it took so long. Wyava correctional officers discovered the four inmates were missing during routine bed checks at about 1.10 a.m. Sunday. Prisons officials say the four roommates were seen in their beds just two hours prior. But it wasn't until noon, nearly 12 hours later, that the Honolulu Police Department's Crime Stoppers released the identities of the four men. KITV4 News asked the Department of Public Safety's Deputy Director Joe Booker why it took so long to release the names and photos of the missing inmates for the sake of public safety. Booker said it took time to clearly identify the missing inmates and they are investigating. Booker also said the department is investigating exactly how the four inmates got away. Public safety officials identify the four men as 20-year-old Jordan White, convicted of three felonies, including robbery. He is 5 feet, 10 inches tall, 150 pounds, and his last known address was in Kaneohe. 28-year-old Elijah Kiakahumoku has 11 convictions, including auto and identity theft. He is 5'10", 180 pounds, and he is from Wahiawa. George Thomas was up for release in 2013. He is six feet tall, 190 pounds, from Maui. And 40-year-old David Carvalho, Jr., a career criminal with 99 arrests, 29 felony convictions, including 14 for burglary and a prior escape. He is 5'10", 171 pounds, from the Big Island. The prison's department says Carvalho was up for possible release for good behavior and program compliance on June 18th. Prison officials say that parole date was for his five-year minimum sentence for first-degree burglary. But the maximum sentence was 10 years and set to expire in 2016. The prison's department is required to release inmates only after they've served their maximum sentence. Jody Leon, KITV4 News.